Today we will be talking about referential transparency, which is one of those uh, funny definitions I mentioned in the previous episode. So it's a definition which is not really correct or different groups of people understand this concept differently. And I will present it in a way that it's understood by the functional programming community. But this is not the correct definition, if I can phrase it this way. So if you subscribe to my newsletter with the link in the description, I will send some research papers that go deep into this subject. And it's more philosophical than uh, related to programming. So if you are more interested in that, just uh, read those papers and you will you will have a solid understanding of the concept and, and how it evolved into, into programming and, and into functional programming the way it, it has. Let's start with the definition. An expression is considered referentially transparent if it can be replaced with its value without changing the whole program behavior. So there's a lot of words here. So let's try to go one by one and let's try to understand each word and how it then how to compose that and how to understand this whole thing and why it, why it really matters. So first, let's start with the expression. So expression is a combination of values which can come from constants, from variables and from functions. So if you combine different variables and different values like integers, like if you add one to, to two, this is an expression. So if you think about this, one plus two can be replaced by three, and it's the same thing, right? Then you can you know, change variables, you can assign some values to variables, and then you can combine those variables. And then if you like squeeze it in the sense that if you interpret the whole expression and then you compute it, you will have the result and you will have a value. You could have a long expression with multiplication, addition, and any other operations, like uh, any operator you can, you can imagine, but then you can just look at this, read this, understand it, interpret it, compute it, and replace the whole expression with the result. So it's kind of look like a function, right? Because there is some input and there's some computation you can do and then you can replace and there is a result, the output. So expression can have different forms and we are interested in its final form, the one that is interpreted, evaluated, we could say, and we just replace it with uh, this final value. So an expression which can be reduced, let's use this word, reduced from a long one to just the, the result and replace into your program without changing, without the impact on the behavior of, of your program is known as a referentially transparent. So now we have expression, let's go further. So what is value? There are many definitions here. For example, value can be the monetary worth of something. This is one, one definition. Another definition is relative worth or utility or importance. So that's kind of interesting, but there is yet another uh, definition, which is a numerical quantity or measurement or uh, calculation, the magnitude. And this is the definition we are the most interested in when it comes to programming. So for example, if you take the value two, it signifies something, it measures something. It can be two ice creams, or it could be two dollars or anything you, you can imagine. And then you can add that to create to, to some other values to create more values. If you take a value, values are open, which means that we could say they are transparent because you can see through them. If you have a value and I, I receive a value and I, and I look at this, I know the value. In this value, there is the value we could say, or I, I don't need to do anything with, with this value. Values are open and it's in opposition to things like objects where you have some state and you have some methods and then you try to hide things. So you may hide some fields, you may hide some methods and only expose the methods you want. So there is this concept of encapsulation. In object-oriented programming you 
encapsulate things, you hide things, you try to control things and only allow others to see what you want them to see, which is in exact opposition to values, because values are transparent. If you have a value, you know what it is. There is an interesting result of that. If I have a value, let's say, what's the meaning of life? It's 42, right? It's a value. And then I have another value, 50. So I can say that 50 is greater than 42. Or I could say that 20 is less than 42. Or I could say that 42 is different than 43. I have those logical operations I can apply to values and I can immediately judge this value. I can can compare it to other values. It's it's already in in the value, which is not really the case for objects where you have to somehow make this happen. These are values. And let's now talk about transparency. So transparency, there are many definitions. I noted three of them. The first one is free from pretense or deceit. Another one is easily detected or seen through. And maybe the the most applicable in our contact is really understood. So if something is transparent, like value, you just look at this and you know what it is about. And if you look at an instance of an object, you have to read the API, etc. So values are transparent. So finally, referential. The definition I found is of or containing or constituting a reference, especially pointing to something or involving a referent. The part that we are most interested in is this pointing to. So I will highlight it. So now let's combine this. As we said at the beginning, an expression is called referentially transparent if it can be replaced with its value without the impact on the program's behavior. You look at your expression or at your program and you have many expressions and then you replace that. You observe the result of your, of your, of your program and nothing changed. If that's the case, we call those expressions referentially transparent. It may kind kind of seem unnecessary to define this because it seems that most of the things is referentially transparent. If you compute something, if you have ingredients, you know, the variables or the other values, if you combine them, you should always get the same result. And that's, in fact, the case if we are talking about functions or a very specific case of functions. But your program can do something else and can communicate with the external world and if you watch your program behavior as a whole and not as at a very i would say atomic level it may do something which is not really easily repeatable because the world outside changes and the output of your program may be different if it's run in different contexts. We will talk about it in the next episode. We will be discussing pure functions and uh, the difference between pure and unpure functions. I think you already may see the, the relation. I just wanted to focus on this specific concept because it, it's usually if you see the definitions of those other concepts, they are being created in relation to, for example, referential transparency. And once again, This is a funny definition and it's not really a precise definition. So this is not something final. There's something that is being understood by some groups of people in a different way. Once again, if you're interested to learn more about it, which means to dive into more into philosophy, I will send some papers about that. Referential transparency, an interesting and funny concept. That's all for today. Not much coding. It's important to try to get this uh, intuition in place before we start doing more fancy functional uh, stuff. That's all for today. See you next time.